3M. My name is Mama Ashra bin Mama Anwar. I am from 3L. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Izzat Fahmi. So, our group got a topic, uh, telecommunication layout high rise. Before we go through, what is high rise building? Uh, based on Wikipedia, high rise building is a tall building as opposed to a low rise building and is defined differently in terms of height depending on the jurisdiction. We also can clarify that high rise building has a height more than 23 meter or 75 feet. Uh, it also has a high population density countries. Uh, for example, uh, apartment tower or residential tower. So when we talk about uh, telecommunication in high rise building, we also need to know, of course, we need to know how the installation work or happen. So uh, here, we will explain to you a little bit about the process of installation uh, for telephone in high rise building. As you know, the distribution uh, and installation uh, for telephone in high rise building consists of five stages. Number one is the underground access cable from last cabinet to SDF room. We will also uh, explain to you about the SDF room later. Number two, cable from SDF room to switchboard, PABX and operator. Number three, vertical riser routed to distribution box at each floor. Number four, horizontal running cable to the telephone user. And the last one is earthy. So basically, this is the graphic of the installation of telephone for high-rise building. SDF room. What is SDF stand for? SDF is subscribers distribution frame. So subscribers distribution frame room, uh, one of the most important room that need to have in every high-rise building to complete the tele telecommunication installation so uh, the function of SDF room is to receive and distribute incoming line or other word to be an intermediary between internal or external communication lines or internet so number two usually SDF room located at ground floor or first floor Fire prevention and alarm system also uh, must be provided in this room. Number three, no service duct can go through and penetrate the SDF room. And the last one, the wall structure must be strong enough to place all the SDF equipment. Because what? Because SDF room is the most important room to uh, receive the uh, communication line or internet. Alright, next we have private automatic brush exchange and we call in short form PABX. So you will know about PABX. Let's go. So the function of private automatic brush exchange is number one, to switch call within the building or between the outside telephone network. Second, it is designed to handle lines in high rise building. Third, it is designed that a small initial system can grow into a large system with minimal labor and cost. However, the PABS should be placed in a well ventilated, clean and cool. That's mean air condition. So lastly, we have vertikalizer. So let like, me check out what is vertikalizer is. There are items in vertikalizer that call vertical passage. Vertical passage is enclosed by concrete or brick wall that carry the telephone's cable to various floor. The cable must fit to a cable tray in the riser, it to make access line and easy for installation and future maintenance. Moreover, it also must have fire resistance. The next item for the installation of telephone for high-rise building is floor dating layout. So let's me figure out what is in the floor dating layout. There are three types of floor ducting layout. The first one is grid layout. 
the second one is branching layout and the last one is perimeter layout the main purpose of floor duct is to enable desk to be moved in any position in the office or within in the building the first part in floor ducting layout is grid layout grid layout grid layout suitable for open plan office layout the table is located under floor through trunking grid layout Typical grid spacing is 3.6 meter times 3.6 meter. Green layout, most flexible layout arrangement. For example, is shopping complex. For second type of floor duction layout is bench layout. So, what is bench layout? Check it out. Bench layout is a more and economical because the cable can be taken directly to the telephone unit without any division. Branching layout also suitable where there is a fixed partition. For example, office room, shop lots in shopping complex. So the last layout is perimeter layout. So the perimeter layout is a, is an alternative to the branching layout that normally located at the internal perimeter of floor skirting. It also normally used as combination with the grid layout. Uh, this layout is easy to maintain and also systematic and this layout is suitable for circular shape of the building.